got the white top I wanna spend my life with you man. We got the sunset going down I just want you now Today I'm collaborating with Macy's Wine Shop. Macy's is officially launching their new wine shop. This is very exciting, especially for people who love wine. To celebrate with me and join me in this amazing event, Macy's has sent me a couple of different wines. I'll be trying this new one, the Bernard. I don't want to butcher the name, but I just poured myself some of this wine and I am about to try it out. These wines are super affordable. They have very fast shipping. Shipping is very quick. It typically takes about one or two days. I received my package really fast. I have to pay for shipping, which is $14.95. This wine shop is overall the aesthetic and the way that they package the wine. It's very easy for the customer because it comes very well packaged, so your wine bottles will not break. Let's go ahead and try this wine right here. This is a, I believe, let's see. Is this a pale pink rosé? I'm kind of nervous. Okay, this one is not as strong as the other wines that I tried. And I can definitely work with this. This is not too bitter. It's this rich flavor and kind of refreshing flavor, which I really like when it comes to my wine. I think I would pair this with maybe like some spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Some spaghetti and meatballs. I love spaghetti, so I think this wine would be perfect with some delicious pasta or something like that. Hmm. This is actually not bad. This would be good when you're like drunk as fuck already and like just gonna <laughs> Another wine that they sent me is this Lulu brand. It has a fruity and pleasurable rosé from the sunny south of France. So this is another rosé. Go ahead and pour it. Just a tad a bit because I don't want to get too drunk. <laughs> All right, let's see. Cheers. Ah, that one is really, it's strong. Let's see, let's do a big gulp. Oh uh, yeah, this one kind of tastes like this one. Obviously, they're both white wines, but this one, but this one here feels a little bit stronger than the other one. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to try out is this one right here. I have no idea how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But it looks like this. 12% alcohol, which is really high. Pour it up, pour it up. <laughs> see Whew. it's making my stomach kind of queasy oh mm. it has that rich flavor I have to say that I'm not a very white white wine person just because it's like not my thing I don't I don't like the flavor at all I'm more of a red wine type of person 
Another one that they sent me, this is the Monarch Glen. This is has sweet berry and tangy cherry burst. Oh, that can be sweet. Probably this one's sweet, so let's go ahead and try it. <laughs> this is a red wine. Okay, here you go. Cheers. Please be good. <laughs> Okay, this is not that wine. This is not that bad. It took me back to Thanksgiving Day when I, when my cousin and I finished two bottles of wine and they were super strong. We were already drunk. We finished it like in a gulp and we were out. We were out. But this one's good. So the last one that I'm going to try out is called James Bell and this is a red blend. Um... Oof, I can already smell how strong it is. Alright, here we go. Oof, yeah, it's 13.9% alcohol. Yep, no. Oh, that's... That's like fucking pure alcohol. Pure fucking alcohol. All the wines that they sent me, I think this one is my favorite. So, purchase your wine. Wine, Macy's finally has a wine shop. Am I drunk already? Macy's finally has a wine shop. You can also do one of the upgrades, adding three award-winning selections to their shipment for just $8.33 per bottle. A discount of 50%, making it a total of six bottles, which you will receive for less than $50. Imagine going to CVS or at any store and you get like a bottle for like $20 each. This is a great prize if you are a wine lover, if you love wine, red wines, white wines. This is the only brand offering a deal like this, which is three wines valued at $50, $52 retail price for only $14.95, plus the chance to get an additional three bottles if you upgrade for $25, which is $8.33 per less than $50 for six bottles of wine. You'll also get a complimentary three bottle box by going to Macy's Wine Shop. If you are interested, definitely check out my description box down below. Alright, hello everyone. So it is Saturday night. It is currently 11 o'clock p.m. Tomorrow is Sunday and I want to go to the farmer's market. I want to go get a coffee and just relax, have a nice Sunday morning, a three-day weekend so I don't go to school. I mean, I don't go to work on Monday, so it's really exciting. Um, I also want to get my nails done or redone. I'm currently reading The Upside of Falling. This is a romance and it has 280 pages. It's a fake relationship to real relationship uh, romance. I'm honestly really enjoying it. Um, it follows two characters and we follow the perspective of Becca and Brett and they're in high school obviously it's a ya romance not only do we follow their fake relationship but we also follow um their relationship with their parents and how because dad left them when she was young how sometimes she walks to his house with his new wife and baby and also brett uh he like in the middle of the story he does find out that his dad is having an affair so both of them have similarities where both of their parents are going through a divorce. I think they have really good chemistry. I really like both of the characters because Brett is a football player and he is popular. Um, he wants to go to college and play football, which is his father's dream. But it doesn't really tell us what's his dream. Becca, on the other hand, she loves to read books. And this is something that I really like about this story is that Becca, she's a reader as many, like many of us. Becca does not believe in love because she feels that there's many downsides to being in a relationship. For example, like you're either going to get married with this person or it's going to cost you a huge heartbreak. Also, if you get married, then it's you have like a 50% chance that you get divorced to this person. I am on page 164, I'm 60% in. I barely started it today. My face, okay. Hello everyone, today is February 20. I am super, super excited because I am gonna go get my nails done or refilled. I'm gonna get a refill for my nails because they're already coming out. I'm gonna go get some coffee because I haven't had a coffee this morning. Um, I just woke up. I finished a book this morning. I am so happy because I 
finished it in one day. And I usually don't finish books in one day. Um, I finished reading the book that I talked about last night, The Upside of Falling by Alex Light. I found it on Amazon, the Prime, Amazon Prime. I was so disappointed. I was liking it. It started out it started out so good. I liked both of the characters, Brett and Becca, who de developed this fake relationship after having a debate in English class about Romeo and Juliet. After Becca's ex-best friend, she makes fun of her for never having a boyfriend. Brett overhears and he decides to tell Becca's ex-best friend that they're dating. So, and this is kind of threw me off guard because what would you do if like a guy comes up to you and automatically says, hey, we're dating out of nowhere. You have no history together. You only have him in your English class. And they, they kiss in front of her. And yeah, so they start fake dating. So this is a fake dating to real relationship. They were cute characters. They had a great chemistry. I really liked them. Um, for some reason, the main character, Brett, while I was reading it, I imagined him as... What's his name? The one from Euphoria, the main character, the really mean one. What's his name? I have him in the... Elordi. Jacob Elordi. Is that his name? But the climax for the story was just, like, so disappointing. I expected a little bit more, like, like anger and, like, tears and stuff. But I don't know. I expected a little bit more. Her mother also owns a bakery shop, which I really liked. It made me super hungry because I love sweets, I love bread, and I love donuts and bakeries. So it made me super hungry and made, made me want to go to a bakery. I didn't really care for their family. I didn't care for Becca's father. He was such an outcast. I did not care for him. I did not care for Brett's father. Kind of like the resolution. It was that, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but I kind of gave us a message that it's okay for you to take back a man that cheats on you. And I was just like, nope, 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 not in my house, not in here. Because once a man cheats, he will cheat again. And that's what the message gave us in the book, well, for me. A lot of us will not, like, even, like, think about that, but, but yeah. So, Brett's father was having an affair with another woman, and the resolution, it just like pissed me off because it gives a message that if a man cheats and you've been long, if, and you've been dating this guy for a long time, or if you're married for this guy for a long time, that it's okay to take him back. And I just don't think that, you know, that's just what killed the story for me. Um, I gave it a three star rating just because of that. And also because the climax was boring to me. It could have been better. It could have been better. I am going to start reading... Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So I just read the two f pages and I cannot believe. I think I know it's gonna happen. Hopefully it does not end up like that, but I'm about to cry. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on I just got back from running some errands. Errands consisted of getting my nails done, getting a refill. I also went to Target. I needed my face wash and dry shampoo. Got my nails done. This is how they came out. Winter is almost over. We have exactly one month for winter to be over because it ends on March 20. Exactly one month from now. 
which is crazy and I'm excited for spring actually because I'm ready to wear skirts and like fresh outfits I have a lot of dresses that I bought for spring I haven't had a chance to read anything but right now I'm gonna serve myself a glass of wine relax do a little skincare night routine I'm gonna put on a face mask and I'm gonna watch euphoria I'm excited because tonight's episode's gonna be crazy. I'm excited. And then after that, I'll just read a real I'll just read a little bit of Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reed. This one has Oh, it has 324 pages. So it's not that long. Hopefully I can finish it before I end this vlog. So yeah, tomorrow's President's Day. Um, so I won't go to work. Ever since I was born, been a spring flower starter. Hibernate till it's warm, and the snow melts to water. But here comes a change I can feel inside. I see some cloudless sky, so I. hello good morning i am back from my coffee run my sister and i we went uh to get some starbucks this morning because we ran out of coffee at our house so we went to get some coffee and i got a caramel macchiato i got a hot drink this time because it is kind of chilly this morning finished my chores i am now sitting down i did my makeup and now i'm gonna organize my flowers that i bought yesterday i am currently reading Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I'm loving it so, so much. I haven't read any Taylor Jenkins Reid in a while. I'm really liking this story. I'm on page 66, so it has around like 300 pages, which I am already loving. I love the main characters, even though Taylor Jenkins Reid already like um, made me cry because in the beginning of the story, it does begin with a death, and it follows Elsie Porter. Her husband does pass away after being hit by a truck, and it's just so devastating. So we do follow um, her grieving for her husband and having to organize all the funeral plans, and it also takes us back to when she first met Ben and like how they had like chemistry right away.
is now 8 17 p.m i have been reading forever interrupted by taylor jenkins street i am now on page 139 and i'm still loving this book it's very emotional there's just so many emotions from happiness to when to when i read the parts of elsie and ben when they first met and then they started like their relationship with each other, how they fell in love. They didn't tell their families that they were dating. I guess Ben was too scared to tell his mother because they had just lost um, his father and he didn't know how his mother was going to re react to him dating Elsie and marrying her. Now Elsie is grieving and her best friend Anna is helping her through it. This is gonna be my favorite book of the year because I love a good, heartbreaking romance. I already know that Ben, who it was Elsie's husband, they were just married for like one week or two weeks, I believe. So that's a very short amount of time to be married to someone, right? But they did date for like six, eight months. Um, obviously, Elsie's parents did not approve of that. They thought that it was just a really short amount of time to marry a person. So Elsie called her parents to let them know that Ben had passed away. They gave her their condolences and whatever. They didn't mention anything like going to visit her. Ben only has his mother, had his mother alive. So his mother is Susan. Susan wanted to cremate him, but Elsie told Susan that Ben mentioned that he wanted to be buried. So, Elsie tries to convince uh, Ben's mom that to for him to get buried and obviously she she convinced her. The funeral happens, Susan speaks and she mentions the story about when they dropped him off to college. And Susan was really sad that her only son was going to college. She was not going to see him again. They had a guest room back in their house and Ben tells his mother that he has a surprise for for Susan. And Susan goes back home, she sees that Ben had written I love you on the mirror with bar soap. That's the same exactly thing that Ben did for for Elsie. And I thought that it was just so cute and we could see how Ben was very lovable for the people that he really cares for. I love Ben's character. I find myself jealous of the dirt that we'll get to spend so many years close to Ben's body. <laughs> Today is Wednesday already. Um, I just went to get some Starbucks. I'm like 20, 30 minutes to go to work. I got myself a little bit of breakfast. Got a yogurt parfait. And a cheese Danish. This week I'm going to be reading the Bromance Book Club. I will talk to you guys a little bit more about it later on. It is now 10 o'clock p.m. It's been a hectic day. It's been near the end of the month and pairing conferences mm. are coming soon. Uh, pack prowess reports are almost due. I'll share you with you guys the books that I'm reading. Give me a sec. But one of the books that I'm reading is The Romance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. But this hasn't been like, I haven't been like really interested in reading this book, but I've seen it everywhere. And I guess I picked it up at a Barnes & Noble because it was on special. It follows Gavin, whose wife just asked for the divorce. So he's like super drunk and crying about it. Because he fucked up, I guess. I don't know what he did. He also discovered that his wife has always been faking 
the Orient and the Organism. I read Taylor Jenkins read. I don't think I even updated you guys with that book, but I freaking fell in love with it. I've read some of the reviews and some of the people did not like it just because their romance like developed like super fast. And that's what I really liked about the story because obviously like it's not about like how long their relationship was. It was about how they started their romance and then like a week after being married he dies because unexpectedly so that was the point of it that it's about a romance that was cut short and um some people didn't believe that he she was even dating this guy and i'm also reading things we never got over by lucy score i'm liking it so far it is about um this woman who has a twin and basically they're like different people they have different characteristics tina her tina her sister she's this rebel she's um she's been to jail i am on page 80. i there's like 500 pages so i'm i need to catch up Good morning, friends. Today it is Friday, finally. got over i'm on page 114 there are 500 pages to this book so this is kind of like the first book that i read with 500 pages this year kind of in the mood to read some fantasy i might start these this weekend so it is saturday afternoon and it is currently 5 27 pm by the way i was listening to the new moon soundtrack I'm also reading the bromance book club by lisa k adams and i'm not very interested in this book just because it has men characters just kidding uh, <laughs> really not interested in this book because it's about a guy who tries to get his wife back after after she she told him that she wants a divorce like it's not intriguing to me like last weekend i read so much i think i'm like two books ahead of my goodreads challenge i have read 14 books this year so far out of 80 